Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back. It's time for another candle review. And this was from my Marshall's Candle Haul maybe two months back. I was kind of just walking around wanting to try some new candles. Um, and as it turned out, several of them were a brand that I already know of, which DW Home, which is what this is. Um, so this is Spice Current, and this was chosen by Taylor Copperberg. She also has a YouTube channel here as well. And... Um, I have to agree with Taylor when she said the packaging is beautiful, and it is beautiful. It's in this kind of like faux uh, velvet box with gold lettering and font. Uh, really, really pretty. It was $4, like I said, from Marshalls, and so I picked it up. Uh, it is a kind of burgundy wine-colored glass with uh, silver foil on the inside. So it's very pretty. I wish it had a little more, more mercury glass effect so that you could see the flame through the candle, but that's okay, no, no worries. And I believe it is, let me not tip that upside down. Um, uh, poured in Vietnam, hmm. Candles in Vietnam, getting a, little, a lot of press lately. Uh, seven ounces. I'm not sure what it retails uh, originally because it is not on the website. I can't find a scent description anywhere. So we're just going to assume that it's supposed to smell kind of spicy and currants are a tart fruit. Um, so uh, on cold, I did get a, a slightly tart note from the berry. A little bit of cinnamon, uh, but not too much. More of the tart berry scent. On warm... Um, it's light. I, I don't get any spice note at all, in it, but I do get a little bit of a tart berry. Again, nothing, you know, unique. It is just a tart scent that I'm smelling. Um, I originally started out here in the kitchen, and I could barely smell it here in the kitchen, like, you know, like a three or four, maybe. That might be even generous. So I moved it to the half bath. It did throw a little bit better in the smaller space, like maybe six, six and a half. So uh, it's still not strong. It is a smaller candle, so I have to cut it some slack there. But for something that's spicy and tart, it should throw a little bit better than that, even given the fact that it's a smaller candle. Um, so for scent appeal, it smelled nice. The appeal was nice, like an eight. The throw, uh, you know, overall between the bathroom and the kitchen, I'd have to give it like an, a five, really, at best. Um, Let's talk about the burn. Oh, let me blow this out actually because it's kind of bright in there. Okay, so it does have some, look, you can see the soot coming off there right now. Yikes. Um, and so it does have some sooting around the top. It did burn pretty clean all the way down. You can see right there, there's a little stuck to the side. Um, it didn't tunnel. Uh, I just, it's only been going maybe like 30 minutes this morning, so that's why it looks a little tunnely, but I think that would come down when I let it go. Uh, so, you know, overall for a $4 candle, yeah, I guess it was okay. Uh, I'm glad I didn't pay full price for it. I wish it had thrown better, but um, yeah, that's really all I can say about that. So uh, we have three candles left from that haul. And so the first person to respond down below, that will be the candle I will melt, no, sorry, burn and review whenever it's done. I can't say it's going to be a week or two weeks. It's just kind of however, you know, when I'm, uh, excuse me, burning candles, you know. Okay, so uh, and please, please have a look down in the comments section to see if somebody has already chosen uh, last week on, on, I think, Sensi Saturday or Walmart Wednesday, I had like three or four responses. So, anyway, that's no big deal. Uh, so, this one is Torched Products. Rox, please. She's right in front of my face. I can't see, Roxy. Um, this is Torched. <sighs> sorry. Okay, you need to go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Okay, this is Torched Products uh, Pinewood Pilsner, which is Juniper and Woody Pine. And uh, I, I can only assume this is made out of a beer bottle, I guess. That would make perfect sense. Okay, Juniper and, what did I say? Juniper and Woody Pine. Uh, I have a 
This is a DW home as well in White Pine. The Sutton Lodge collection. Never heard of it, never saw it till I saw this at Marshall's that day. And this plaid collect this plaid candle, which uh, somebody has uh, told me that also is a DW home candle, but I don't see anything that says DW home. This is in fir grapefruit. So those are what's left. Um, again, so the first person to pick a candle, I will burn it and review it for you. I hope everybody's having a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.